Hey all, welcome to a new video. I decided to try something new today, so let's see how it goes. Today, we're going to talk about Wings of Fire's notorious love triangle. Yes, that one. I'm sure we all know the one deep down, but we don't want to admit it. Without further ado, let's get into my own personal opinions and biases. Let's start with the banana on top, Winter Watcher. Unlike a lot of other fans who prefer just Winter Watcher or Moonbly, I actually like both of them equally. Of course, back in 2017, you could have asked my 10-year-old self which ship I would prefer at the release of the book, but back then I would have shouted Moonbly in your face. But of course, five years later, after reading all the book series through 10 times each at least, uh, I can safely say I like both of them equally. Now we go into dynamics. Oh boy. I can hear all the comments saying already, Luna, if you like Winter Watcher, does that mean you like their romance? The answer is no. Now let me explain before you find where I live and bite my head off. Let's start with how Winter and Moon met. Moon goes to the party center. Uh, she is sitting with Kinkaju, eating fruit. She hears a scavenger's feelings and goes to catch it. Once she catches it, she runs into Winter and he threatens her and says, If you don't give my scavenger back, I will slice your face off. Wow, uh, alright. Red flags rising already. Now don't get me wrong, I love Winter's and Moon's dynamic throughout the rest of the series. But like, that boy is going through a lot of trauma and change and stuff. He got his brother back after he was turned into a female Skywing. Uh, so I don't think our boy Winter would be in the best position to be in a romantic relationship. Next point. People make to me the argument that Winter needs Moon and that's why they should be together. But have you ever considered, does Moon need Winter? Winter may need Moon, but that does not mean it's best for them to be in a romantic relationship. Winter is going through a lot. And putting a girlfriend on top of that plate would topple the boy down. He would be in for a lot of emotional heartbreak and other things. Now, I know after what I just said, you must think, Oh, you said you love this ship, but you hate this ship. No. I love the dynamic. I love the way they acted towards each other in the books, but that does not excuse the fact that they would not be good in a romantic relationship. Moonly time. I mostly love Moonly for their dynamic, as I like Winter Watcher for that reason, but their dynamic is such that it makes it not a toxic relationship. Which in saying, I mean, Kibli and Moon would be able to be together without being another foe slayer in Arctic. They don't get in fights or yelling matches, which makes for a very well-rounded, wholesome ship. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day.